bonus video for today. Earlier this morning, I had posted a snippet into the air charter business in Southern Africa, which you can check out with the pop-up banner above. And if you want to find out more about the specifics of that charter flight in the video, you can watch it on the airlines channel here. In today's video, I wanted to theorize an answer to the question, why during this period of La Nina does Southern Africa receive or is receiving above average levels of rainfall? From what I've found, most articles or weather reports online will tell you the result of a La Nina, but will fail to tell you the how and the why Southern Africa receives wet and cool characteristics during a La Nina. So how does the La Nina affect global climatology in relation to Southern Africa? To answer that question, we have to look at a neutral global climate map. You will find during a neutral event, the International Tropical Convergent Zone, during our summer falls over southwestern Africa, and trails towards the east in southern Africa. We are aware that the ITCZ moves towards the southern hemisphere during November to March, due to the tilt of the Earth and where it lies in relation to our Sun in its orbit. Now, Southern Africa lies between two cells, the Hadley cell and the subtropical cell. In between these, we have a band of high-pressure zones. Specific to Southern Africa, we have the South Atlantic High and the South Indian High. The South Indian High is warmer than the South Atlantic High, and so where the two meet, we get a moisture front, or what can be also called the Tropical Temperature Trough, overhead Southern Africa. This Tropical Temperature Trough is where we get a line of thunderstorms and is usually warm. Do note, these two high-pressure zones fall lower in latitude during the summer months due to the low end of the ITCZ, however, they still have an effect on Southern Africa. In addition to this, in southeastern Africa, again, due to the low end of the ITCZ, we get a myriad of tropical cyclones. Remember, tropical cyclones develop between 5 degrees latitude south of the equator and the equator itself. They form over the South Indian Ocean and track westwards away from the equator. Hence why they mostly landfall overhead Mozambique, Eswatini, South Africa, in Lesotho and track eastwards where they dissipate. So as you can see, the lowering of the ITCZ and the warm and cold air from the South Indian High and South Atlantic High creates both the tropical temperature trough and tropical cyclones that give us rain during the summer months. This thus describes a neutral event. Now what about a La Nina event? Due to the size of the Pacific Ocean, it being the largest ocean in the world, the El Nino Southern Oscillation is big enough to shift our global climatology. During a La Nina phase, the easterly trade winds are strong enough to push the warm surface water towards the oceanic continent. This gives opportunity for deep cold water to rise along the west coast of South America. The shifting of warm water to the west thus shifts the Indian Ocean dipole more westwards. So that tropical temperature trough moves more inland in southern Africa than during a neutral event, bringing more rainfall than normal. Now that explains why it is wetter than normal, but why has it been cold? This is where things become more of my own theory, stitching together ideas to make this make sense. Well, to explain this, let's take a closer look at the Indian Ocean Dipole. During a La Nina event, for the most part, we experience a negative IOD. This negative IOD means the westerly winds are stronger than normal, which pushes the warm waters towards Malaysia, Indonesia and the like. This allows for cold, deep water to rise along the south and east coast of Africa. This cold water is still a good enough source of energy for most of our weather on the moisture front and is still warmer than the South Atlantic High, but still colder than normal. As the water is colder, the air in turn becomes colder, thus giving us that cool and wet weather that we are experiencing in this La Nina event. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.